welcome. As you should know by now, I cover many events all over the world from all different eras. In this upload, as you can see, I've got a most popular assassination of John F. Kennedy. And as this video isn't actually about him, I thought I would just give you a little rundown of the Freemason playbook before I get on to the main subject. As you can see, I've highlighted four examples of the playbook within the Freemasons. And you see the crisis actors, you see Dallas, Texas, you see that I've highlighted Deceived, and all the people that I'm going to give examples within this upload are all departed by the Freemasons. As you can see, even Lee Oswald is highlighted, and I suppose it's sort of tongue-in-cheek, I've highlighted legal aid, as in around the world, do you need an attorney, do you need a solicitor, whereas Lee Oswald didn't even get to make the most of his legal aid the moment he stepped out of his cell. The main subject within this upload is going to be Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy's assassination was no less gruesome than any other assassination carried out by the Freemasons. It was heavily tipped that he was going to be a big star within the politics and some opinions had had it that he would actually win the election. Without getting into too much detail, I would think it would be safe to assume that that would be the main reason, aside from him coming after the Mafia, uh, that he had to die. It would turn out that even Robert, within his name, as I've already covered Kennedy, so I wouldn't bother with that, but you can see that even his name, Robert, didn't do him any favours on this occasion. So he had the double exposure of being unlucky. In terms of his assassination, after spending some weeks sifting through the internet, it seems that it's very difficult to actually get Robert Kennedy's assassination sort of in full with audio, as I've found it that you will get many clips, but they will be montaged with TV reporters overlooking it and not showing you a clear picture. So during the process of making this upload, I managed to actually track down an audio archive where it's all the audio of that evening. So a big thank you to David Von Peen JFK channel for allowing me to borrow the audio that I have meticulously added to the Robert F. Kennedy's assassination where I have put out a two minute clip for you to see before I move on within this upload. Take a look. Mayor, Mayor Yorty has just sent me a message that we've been here too long already. So, uh, my thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Yes, we're going to go for a press conference next to the weirdo. This way. Cameron, no, Rosie, no, no. This way. Easy! 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 Easy!
Let Roger Mudd in here. 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 Roger Mudd, the loose man. Who's the guy in here? Has anybody got a doctor? Has anybody got a doctor? Get out of here. Stay back. Okay, so moving on now, as you have seen the clip, which I hope you like in the sense that I've managed to at least get the sound as close to the event as possible, as it did take me some time. But yes, the actual weapon that was apparently used, as you can see, was called an Ivor Johnson weapon. It was actually made within the military. And as you will get used to my overall Illuminati book as in all the codes you can see I've highlighted Johnson jailbreak and jury duties so it's interesting that as I say from Boris Johnson Lyndon Johnson Johnson and Johnson but no it's actually the weapon that is of interest as in Johnson as you can see on the picture it's got the arrow shape code and that would obviously take you to the Bohemian Grove where they have not denied that this is where the so-called real 1% that according to reports today 2022 that apparently people like Warren Buffett and others are going to potentially be facing a battle in relation to higher taxes but yes that's as it is how the gun as in the apparent gun was made by that company. So moving on to the actual alleged crisis actor that has paid the price with his life sentence, which was commuted, is Sirhan Sirhan. To understand this gentleman, you will have so many different stories and I have came across strong, potentially credible evidence that this is a stitch up. So the gentleman, obviously with some sort of Jordanian, Palestinian um, descent and going by the way he has been treated, he has not won any potential appeals or parole to this date. But the main fact of the matter is that as all major assassinations by the Freemasons, it was no surprise when I found that his name is also 33. It really, as I say, is incredible to the length that these people are so insane. Hence why, as you can see on the picture, I've highlighted sewn up signatures and his name. As in, his case is all sewn up by the Illuminati. The signature that he has at least only been able to get signed was his death sentence to be commuted to life sentence and as you can see highlighted in the middle, his name. So there you go. As I say, it really is insane to how all these people who have killed all prominent people from the Kennedys to Lee Oswald and everybody else are all, as I say, without a shadow of doubt, connected to the Freemasons. Thank you for taking the time to watch this upload. As a little treat, I will once again put out the two minute clip of Robert Kennedy's final two minutes. And once again, stay safe, strong, sharp. Thanks. Mayor, Mayor Yorty has just sent me a message that we've been here too long already. So, uh, my thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Yes, we're going to go for a press conference next to the No, Rosie, no, no. This way. Hey! 
Let Roger Mudd in here. 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 Listen, you're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Everybody be cool. You be cool.